right, I want you guys to meet the crew. As you know, here myself, here in the right seat, blue. And on my left is, uh, I would trust this man with my life. His name is Steve, so big shout out to him. What's going on, beautiful people? Welcome back. It's your boy, Farmer Blue. Welcome to the family farm. This is Blueberry Acres. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, we, uh specialize in uh, making a very special a very hot new uh, cereal brand called uh, blueberry oats yeah you know more about what that's about here in a, in a bit and we also oh don't wait we did, it gets better uh, we also have a energy drink in the making it's it's still in in, in planning phase um, but it's gonna be called uh, what's it called it's, it's uh, uh, what was it double B XL. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna call it. Double B X. Still working with the marketing team. So somewhere, somewhere around here is is Perry. Is that him? Where's Perry? There he is. There's Perry. Come here, Perry. Hey, hey, hey. What are you, what are you doing up there? What are you doing? A gargoyle? I'm trying to pet you, bro. <laughs> Come here. Stop running. <laughs> Freaking. All right, Perry doesn't want to play. Just gonna let you guys know right now, I can't pronounce any of these names. So, yeah, just uh, take that as you want it. No smoking, though. No smoking, and cameras are watching us. Rolling in. Oh, we're pretty fast, I would say. So, I'm bring it max break here. Ooh, we, I hope we make it. Oh, this is gonna be a close one. Oh, boy. Yeah, we're gonna overrun it. But the, uh, this yellow is okay. We can pass the yellow. Oh, we missed the whole thing. Oh, we missed the whole thing. Are you... <laughs> we missed the whole thing. And it should put us right on the marker. I'll take that. Oh, man. I'm so embarrassed. Like, right, what would you do? Seriously, like, like, let me know. What would you do if you were standing on the platform, train comes rolling in at, you know, 100 miles an hour or something crazy, and it has the back into the station. Like, what will be your actual reaction? Like, would you feel safe getting on that train? Uh, would you just roll on the floor, on the floor laughing? I want to know. Let me know, please. Okay, so check it out. We're using the rail driver today. So it, it's such a game changer, especially when driving with American freight. So I just, yeah, I, I love it. Looking forward to it. I'm, I'm really excited about this route, and hopefully it does not disappoint me. Um, so, uh, I'm getting too excited. I'm, I'm brain, brain farting and all that. And it's going downhill now. Oh boy, here we go, here we go. Ah! <laughs> wow, that... Yeah, okay, we didn't really damage ourselves too bad that much. But you, you see what I'm talking about. We weren't even going that fast. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh my god. Oh, we gotta stop. Oh my god. Oh, we're not gonna make it. <laughs> the good news is we have not yet hit anyone, so we're not looking at a million dollar lawsuit for a specific person. This is my new dream plane. My new goal in life is to build one and own one of these in real life. And uh, just a little bit farther than I want it to be. Uh, we missed it. Oh my god. Oh no! <laughs> Oh, darn it. Okay, Fox, you're doing good. I got a vision jet right behind you, so as soon as you get it down and under control, right turn into the grass. All aboard! I want to reply so bad. <laughs> nice, we got the okay, Fox. Uh, right turn as soon as you can there. That vision jet's uh, right behind you, and I'll follow the flag. And welcome, Oshkosh. Wait, just under the down rocket wings for Welcome to Oscars, baby. The no HUD challenge. You know what that means? That means we're taking off the training wheels. Again, like, never been to Bozeman? Oh, I'm, I'm running it. I'm not stopping. Yep, there it is. <laughs> there goes my paycheck. And a gas station, see if we can make it through this green light. Up, oh, and it got me again. Man, I'll tell you, if you guys are going to drive through Bozeman, be prepared to stop at every light. Even running that one light, we still caught every single red light in this city. 
Oh, look at this river on the left. That's like rapids. That is a rocky river. Is that a deer? Bro, give me my rifle. <laughs> yeah, br bring me my rifle. Ram. <laughs> Look at fourth gear. Bum. Feels like in fourth gear. Bum. Looking dead at us. Here we go. I really hope that killed him. Bear is. Oh, he's not down. He's not down. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Come on. Come on. Stay down. Stay down. Oh, he's like a teddy bear. <laughs> keep bringing it in. Keep bringing it in. This is exactly what it feels like to marshal in a real world aircraft on the ramp. See, our wing walks are still good. They're still clear. Keep bringing it in. Come on, to the left. We're good here. And. There we go. Yeah, ninety-one percent stop accuracy. Love it. Good job, team. Hey, hey, hey. Oops. Uh, it looks like we have a bit of a, well, maybe a bird strike or some damage to the nose. So we'll click on that and mark that as an issue. Um, most likely in real life, if you see an issue like that, the aircraft is not going to go out. They're going to have to call maintenance to get that fixed. So that would not be a good night because this is our last flight of the night. And I do work a lot of night shifts and it does tend to happen uh, that something crazy or mechanical will happen on the last flight. And you end up, you know, supposed to get off at 9 p.m. and end up getting off at, you know, 4 a.m. It's just a ramp flight. I, honestly, an aircraft like this would not leave. Uh, they would have to call maintenance to get all this stuff fixed. So sadly, looks like it's going to be a long night for us because uh, we can't leave until this aircraft leaves. This is our flight and uh, we'll be here until maintenance comes and fixes. It's snowing, you know, but it's not like, you know, a snowstorm. I mean, it's, I think, I think we'll be okay. I think, I think you're overreacting. I, I think, I think we're all right. I, it, wow, look at all this snow. So apparently a bunch of snow must have come off the, the banking here and onto the track. And uh, mister, what happened to your hat and your hair? Might want to go ahead and shave that off, bro. I don't know, I think. I think it's about that time to make that call. Anyways, something going on with his hat as well and his hair. I think both of you guys should just give up wearing hats and, and just be bald. Can I get in your train? Get in your, I can get in your train. Can I drive your train? I'm about to try. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's on. I, I don't think that the developers were expecting us to try this, but I'm going to try it. Oh my god, we're actually trying to move. Okay. This is cool. I, I got you guys. I'm going to help you out. I'm going to help you out. We got this. Hold on. Let me, let me see. But we're stuck. Try it again. Let's see. I'm going to see if I can. Oh, we're backing up. We're backing up. We're backing up. There it is. There it is. I got it, guys. You're all good. Don't worry. I think you're overreacting. I think, I think we're all right. And, uh, mister, what happened to your hat? And your hair. This is really. Can I get in your train? You guys, I'm gonna help you out. I'm gonna help you out. We got this. Hold on. Oh, oh! We died. Beautiful. Oh my God. Can you imagine this NV freaking R? Oh, and we're dead. Okay. Yep. Mhm. Mm All right. Got yellow. We're on it. Looking good. A little slow, a little fast, we're looking good. Hey, we're gonna miss it. Bolter, bolter. Bolter, bolter. Alright, now question oh okay, yeah, alright. Well we'll try it again. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my god, that is horrible. Like how did somebody cause such a bad fire? Clearance delivery, Blue. Uh, Holy crap. Sadly, I do have some bad news, and that is we are going to be building a house in single player. Yeah, I don't have any friends yet who play this game. Ooh, hopefully we can get through here. Oh, we're going to hit that pole. Yep. <laughs> Come on. As we roll through this 
Stop like, bro. There's freaking people walking. Around. These are real people walking around. What is this? I don't. I don't know how they did this. Bro, am I in Japan right now? I really don't understand how this. T what is this foreign Japanese technology? Duolingo. I need to learn Japanese ASAP. Are we stopping? Oh my God, look at that. There's people. These are real freaking people. That's an actual Japanese woman. There's a guy with a Game Boy. I think we missed it. You passed the stopping point. Please stop. I'm trying to stop. I'm pressing. It says Q. Q is the key. Okay, I'm, I am on beginner mode. All right. So for all of my Japanese friends out there who are probably heavily judging me, this is my very first time. I have not practiced or tested this game. This is my very first try at this, so I'm extremely new. Whoa, okay. This dynamic weather stuff is crazy. Now I gotta deal with not being able to see the end of the platform, possibly. Wow. Uh, and also, what is that? Is that a freaking flying saucer? Why? Why is there a flying saucer following me around? I don't understand why there's a UFO. Well, I gotta get down here in the low stuff. Now, this is where it's at. Oh my god. Yeah, if you go nice and slow, you can really appreciate this! Ah! Okay. Yeah, come on, go slow. I'm trying to catch up to you guys. That stallhorn is you. no joke. I just tell... I just tell... No, I shouldn't say tell. I just wheel slow. Oh, dead! Ah, we might make it. We got 2,000 feet. What do you guys think? Yeah, we can get stopped before the red light. We won't use the... We won't cheat use emergency brake. We'll just use the... That the uh oh in the set you have reached the edge of the represented what does that mean? What? Well welcome to London St. Pancras station. Uh, I'm gonna head up the escalator as the uh, driver of the 395 today. Uh, you ever wonder if public transportation drivers take public transportation? And I would have to say yes because we are the driver today and we're still taking <laughs> public transportation to get here. I had to take the bus to get here. Oh you serious you stupid plane <laughs> ah. I literally have zero control over the throttle right now. I think we're dead guys. Yep this is the end. This is the end. Uh, yeah, if, if he's bothering you, don't have to talk to him. We can we can switch your seat. Don't worry about it. Uh, oh my God! <laughs> Seatbelts on, oxygen mask on. Help yourself first. Help yourself first. All right, I'm gonna lock this. Uh, man, I'm gonna sit next to you. Seatbelt on. All right, mask on. Now it's close. Almost blacked out. Whew. Okay. Okay, it's all right. All right, we're not spinning to our death or anything. We're just descending. I hope we should be descending. We gotta hurry. Open the cockpit. Uh, oh my God, they are not. They are not okay. What do I do? I don't know what to do. How do I get over there, sir? Captain, wake up! Wake up! Wake up! All right, the good news is. It's a Boeing. It's a Boeing. We're okay. Uh, it's on autopilot. Oh no! No way! Seriously? You've exceeded the maximum speed limit. The emergency brake has engaged. Manchester traffic. Blue Max 116 is now lining up on runway 23 right. Manchester. Alright, let's get ready for takeoff. So, landing lights on. Wing, wing well on, strobes on. Two, three right, uh, uh, for the takeoff, not uh, two, three left now. It is today. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and I think in real life, they do it the other way around, I believe, but 
I mean, there's no ATC controlling the runways, so we do what we want to do out here. Freeze. 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 Yeah, we're definitely going down for a hard landing. Brace, brace, get your head down, stay down. Brace, brace, get your head down, stay down. Brace, brace, get your head down, stay down. Get your head down, stay down. Brace, brace, stay down. Passenger evacuation. Oh my god. Butter. After you jump, go as far from the plane as possible. Come on now. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. What are you waiting for? Jump. Come on. You got it. Thankfully, it's not water. Uh, Captain, you guys are all right up here. Nope, you're not all right. Are you okay? You good? You good? Yeah? Hey, sir. Are you all right? You're awake. You're good as well. Okay, cool. I need you guys to evacuate the aircraft as soon as possible. And grab the medical equipment. All right, and the other one, megaphone, megaphone. Got to have megaphone. And put that right there. Oh yeah, we strapped up. Uh, I think in the back, we're gonna grab. I think it's the beacon or whatever. No, the radio. We need the radio. Radio, very important. There we go. See, if we had more flight attendants, you could use the rest of these. Do not inflate your vest inside the aircraft. Keep coming, keep coming. Good job, everybody. Once you get out of here, inflate your vest, jump in the water, and swim away. There you go. Be careful, be careful. Watch your head, watch your head. Inflate your vest, swim, or sorry, inflate your vest, jump in the water, and swim away. Evacuate, evacuate. Come this way, relieve everything. Don't bring anything out here with you. I will throw it in the water. <laughs> I'm not laughing, this is not funny, this is serious. All right, I think everybody's off. Can I check, can I go back inside? All right, I think everybody's off. My vest is inflated. All right, I just wanna take this moment to say, we know you have a choice in airlines. Thank you for flying Spirit. High speed section. This is uh, the, <laughs> for lack of better words, the other section, um, so. We're rocking some freight operations from Cheyenne to, or Cheyenne, whichever. Cheyenne, 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 Cheyenne Wyoming to Laramie. <laughs> All right, almost there. I'm really interested to know how long this took me to do. All right, there's, there it is. Idle and fully applying the independent brake. 100% full application and minimum automatic brake as should stop us. Uh oh, it's not stopping us. <laughs> it's not stopping us. Why are we not stopping all the way? Please stop. Come on. Come on. Here it is. There it is. <laughs> all right. Wow. That's what I kind of thought. Three. Ah, that hurts just to see. Three. It took me three real life hours to do that mission. Uh, distance driven 57.49 miles. I walked 174 yards and I only got I didn't even get a freaking medal for that. That's ridiculous, man Oh, well, yeah, three hours of my life is gone